Today on What It's Like, 1941 Ford Super D or Super Deluxe Woody Wagon. But before getting into all of it, I'm Jay. Welcome to What It's Like, the automotive channel that gives you the scoop on the classics, vintage, some exotics, lots of orphan cars, and cars that don't often get talked about. We dive in deep with specs, period ads, button switches, and knobs, and most importantly, show what these cars are like. If that sounds like a channel that you will totally dig, subscribe and hit the bell icon next to it to never miss a video. This 1941 Ford Super D Woody is currently for sale at Classic Auto Mall, Morgantown, Pennsylvania, with over 850 cars for sale when recording this episode. Anybody can go there. It doesn't cost a dime to get in or out of there that place and it's like car heaven i swear when you walk through the front door you can hear angels sing ah! definitely wear comfortable shoes for more information pricing and pictures pertaining to this very car be sure to click the link below after this show real quick announcement before we get to the meat and potatoes this Saturday, this coming Saturday, April 29th, there is going to be an AMC car show held at Classic Auto Mall. So that means if you have an AMC, Nash, or Hudson, you can go to this car show. Hours of operation are nine to one. Bring your car, bring your family. And P.S., I'm also gonna be there. So if you wanna run into me or hang out with me, that would be totally cool. It will be an awesome day and I hope to see you there. All right, 1941 Ford model lineup. But before we talk about the Ford model lineup, we have to address there are three different trim levels and trim levels had everything to do with what car you could buy starting in the basement was the special trim it came in only a handful of body options it featured the all-new six-cylinder engine which replaced the base 136 cubic inch displacement v8 this was the first time Ford offered a six-cylinder engine since 1906. Lots of people thought hell froze over because Ford was in the business of making V8s. Every car that Ford made since 1935 had a V8 engine in it. Chevy did the six cylinders. Special only came in one color, Harbor Gray, but could be painted in any Super D color or Super Deluxe color for $20. The special featured a single horn, a single wiper, single sun visor, and single taillight. Didn't have any chrome on the car except for the grill. Stepping up to the deluxe gave you dual wipers, dual visors. One could get the six and save $15. It came in three colors, or you could choose any super deluxe color for $20. Stepping up to the super deluxe, you had chrome and stainless galore. Clock. Choice of interior fabrics, horn ring, crank out vent windows. 1941, Ford was totally redesigned for the 1941 gear, sitting on a brand new frame. It featured a wider body, adds claiming to be able to sit three across in the front seat. Let's compare 40 on top, 41 on the bottom, starting in the front. Newly designed and yet share the same similar shapes. Look at the windshields, look at how similar they are. Both have this rounded, very curvy, curvaceous look, if you will. The bumpers have been revised. Also, look at the headlight bezels, completely different. The 41 has kidney-shaped grills on the front fascia that aren't found on the 40. 41 also has fender marker lights not found on the 40. Looking at the side profile, fenders, both front and rear, are revised. The 41 has a crease and or valley in the fender design that may or may not have trim molding. Our car doesn't have the trim molding, but the one in this picture does. Also notice between the two wooden bodies, the wood is styled completely different. There is a gas filler door on the 41, whereas the 40 just has the gas filler neck with the cap that protrudes outward on the fenders. 41 has vent windows, the 40 doesn't. Looking at the rear, the 40 has bigger or wider running boards. Better look at the gas filler situation. Bumpers have been revised. The rear opens the same and it has the same split window design. Spare tire in center, moving to the inside, which are two totally different experiences. Which one do you like better in the comment section below? Moving on to specs. 194.3 inches long. It's 68.2 inches tall. It rides a wheelbase of 114 inches. It weighs 3,420 pounds. Price $1,015, which 
which is equivalent to you spending $20,841.06 in the year 2023. And this is a case in point where things are just way too much money now. This is a pretty loaded up woody wagon that could be had for $20,000 back in the day. I'm willing to bet the farm you can't get a wagon for $20,000 brand new in 2023. Anyway, total 1941 Ford was 691,455 units, of which total Super D was 393,217 units. And of that number, Super Deluxe Woody Wagons, 9,485 units. Moving on to engines. Starting with the newest engine on offer, 226 cubic inch displacement, hell froze over, flathead 6, 3.7 liters. It's good for 90 brake horsepower, 3,300 RPM, 180 pound-feet of torque at 2,000 RPM. With a compression rating of 6.7 to 1, features four main bearings. Moving to the base engine of the Deluxe, 221 cubic inch displacement, flathead V8, 3.6 liters, 90 brake horsepower, 3,800 RPM, 156 pound-feet of torque at 2,200 RPM. Let's stop right there. This engine makes less power than the 226 Hellfro's over flathead 6. So it would be more cost effective for you to get the 226 when it was brand new and save $15, you're getting a better engine. It doesn't make sense to me. Anyway, compression 6.15 to 1 features three main bearings. Moving on to the biggest and baddest engine on offer for 1941, 239 cubic inch displacement, flathead V8, 3.9 liters. It's good for 100 brake horsepower, 3,600 RPM, 180 pound-feet of torque at 1,900 RPM. With a compression rating of 6.8 to 1, it features three three main bearings. Let's talk styling. Look at how these bumpers are designed. This one has an overrider. The grill comes to like a nose point here. Different section grill there. It's got the hole for a crank if you wanted to crank start it. Somebody added accessory lights to this one. Fender lights, marker lights. Look at this nose section. Look at how rounded everything is. It's got a nice center line that comes down. Check out how these fenders are designed and how they wrap back into here. I absolutely love this wood. There was actually two of these to choose from. There was this one and there's this one over here, but the wood looks too new on that one. I love the way that this wood just looks really sweaty and looks... This is how I build furniture, the rustic look. Look at how it's all fitted. Like there's a lot going on with this wood design. Door's not straight either. It kind of curves. Hinges here. Look at how all of this fits together. This rear fender design. coming to the back look at all the brake lights I think somebody added some more brake lights that's a lot of brake lights that's four brake lights nice spare tire that's inside this case look at how this roof is designed it has this gasket seal in between so in theory it doesn't leak. It's getting in the trunk. Look at these hinges, they're like bars. That's really cool. This is what it looks like here. And then this 
goes up. You have to unlock it. Once it's unlocked, you can move it freely. So that is all the higher it goes up. Once you get it to the highest position, you can just screw it back in so it stays. But that is all the space that you have back here with the rear seat in place. Notice the bumper jack. Notice this big massive spring that helps put the tailgate back up. Coming around the side here, gas filler door is right here. It opens up like that. Just notice all of this fit and finish going on. I'm in absolute love with the way that this wood looks. Coming up to the front door, notice that all the designs going on with the door handle itself. There's a nice keyhole here on the driver's side that has to be pretty rare. Here's what the door looks like. Look at how it's all framed out. Nice gasket seal here. This is what it looks like. There isn't an armrest. This is the door handle to get out. Window crank for the vent window. Window crank for the big window. Operates like this. Take a gander at this interior. Coming down inside the pedal box down here, emergency brake and or handbrake, high beam switch, clutch, brake, gas pedal. The heater box is down there as well. That's what the door sounds like, nice quality shut. Here is what over the hood looks like. Here's what first person over the hood looks like. Got tons of room. Tons of room underneath the steering wheel. That's not even an issue. And knobs moving from left to right. Gasoline gauge, oil pressure, speedometer with odometer and tripometer inside of it. Amp meter, coolant temperature, starter button, hood release, reset to trip counter, headlights, hand throttle, defrost, key with on and off switch, which locks and unlocks the steering wheel column. Ford is about 35 to 40 years early on this feature. I have no idea what this one does. If you know in the comment section below, choke and lighter. Up above, there are sun visors and they're, they're pretty big. There is a nice oval rear view mirror there. Another sun visor for the passenger. Look at this radio situation. So this is your radio. That's really cool. And then it has this, looks like the antenna goes up. But just look at this ceiling. Isn't that really cool? Nice dome light there. Glove oh, box test. Here's our test subject. Here's my hand for reference. Here is our glove box in question. Here is our glove box in question. Ah, it's so close, but it won't fit in there. It won't shut. Coming to the rear door, just look at how it's designed. This is the door handle to get out. This is the door handle to pull the door shut. This one has windows and they slide open. They just open like that. You can open it from either side, it looks like. So that's pretty cool. Here's what the inside looks like. Here's what the front looks like from the back. Let's take a real quick gander at the greenhouse or the pillar to glass ratio. I absolutely love it in here. Got tons of space in between my knees and the front seat. The seat profile is, is nice. 
it's not uncomfortable. It feels like you're sitting on a bus seat. Up here, getting into the third row, you step up a little bit. And this is what it looks like from the third seat in the back. And it's really not that uncomfortable, all things considered, because this is like stadium seating. You're sitting up higher, but it works in this car. The windows do open up back here. They slide. But just look at all of the wood. There's wood everywhere. And it's very, very, very nice. All right, getting under the hood. So we released it from the inside. There is a secondary catch right here. Can you just push it away from you? The hood's extremely heavy. And there's that flathead V8 down inside there. It's got a nice generator up on top. Notice it has two water pumps because it's a flathead. Horns are located down inside here too. Notice coil placement, oil bath air cleaner. Check out fuel filter. The battery box is located underneath the hood. On the positive, on the positive side, this is the quintessential Woody wagon. Popular, well built, good performance. Against it wood body maintenance and the camera did not fit in the glove box all right now it's time for would you rather two scenarios today 1941 plymouth woody wagon or 1941 ford woody wagon or 1941 chevy woody wagon i'm going to leave this here for a minute if you need more time feel free pause the video moving on to the second scenario totally random 1930 willis 98 coupe or 1933 Plymouth Deluxe Coupe, or 1931 Chrysler 6 Sedan. Once again, I'm going to leave this here for a minute. If you need more time, feel free to pause the video. Moving on to name that tune. First person to give both the name of the band and song correctly will have their comment pinned to the top of the comment section. Thank you all so much for coming out and watching this. If you'd like to get in touch with me, shoot me a comment in the comment section below or check out our Facebook group that correlates with this YouTube channel. If you don't have Facebook and would like to reach me, send me an email. All of that will be linked in the description below. Just know I appreciate all of the support. And until next time, here's some scenes for our next episode. 1933 Plymouth. Deluxe Coupe. That is what's next on what it's like. Hopefully that will be coming tomorrow if everything goes great at 4.30 Eastern Time. And until then, toodaloo! Stuck on you, I got a feeling deep down in my soul that I just can't lose. Yes, I'm on my way. Mighty glad you stayed.